What we've said long, long ago is that if whatever decisions we're making, it, if it doesn't help a child, we probably shouldn't be doing. And that's what we're about because this opportunity gives us the chance to create a passion and a vision that we've had of developing a virtual STEM academy to be able to reach out. And I think that the word access is something that is maybe overused or, uh, in many ways, but this access that we're talking about is not only the access to technology, but the access to professional development, cost-effective, rigorous courses in science and, and technology engineering and, and mathematics. Because one of the things that we also want to do with the Virtual STEM Academy is the opportunity to look at the research. Is technology really improving education? And Marshall can provide that research. Is it really enhancing what we do in, in the educational service? Is it cost effective? Because one of the biggest challenges that we have, and I think that for Marshall in the near future and in distant future, is being able to look at our role we have an opportunity to create an educational incubator to be able to determine what is working and what is not working. Is it cost effective? Because Marshall can no longer just be a provider of courses. We have to be a provider of solutions to the problems of the 21st century in rural West Virginia. And Frontier is giving Marshall that jump start in being that educational incubator to provide the solutions to our problems. And uh, Dennis, we're, we are totally indebted, not only to your, your the vision of Frontier, but to enable us to be, have this partnership. It truly is, a, is an exciting time for all the Harless staff that's here. They're excited about it. You've made our day, our week, our year, maybe even our decade, I'm not sure. So thank you so very, very much. Well, first, let me thank you for uh, allowing me to be here to represent uh, my company, Frontier Communications, today. Uh, the opportunity to support the mission of Marshall University and the June Harlow Center for Royal Education and Development um, is just an op opportunity that Frontier could not pass up. Uh, first, uh, let me say that without the support of the nearly 800,000 uh, Frontier customers in the state of West Virginia, we couldn't do this today. So they support us and we're able to support them through this uh, announcement today. We believe we're doing something special in the state of West Virginia at Frontier Communications. We're taking broadband, fat, high-speed internet into rural West Virginia to places it's never been before. However, without the vision of uh, institutions like the June Harless Center and Marshall University, uh, that highway would be, would be the famous highway to nowhere. Uh, and uh, the, through this partnership that we developed with the Harless Center and Marshall University, I firmly believe that we'll be able to change the way we educate our students. We'll be able to make technology available and the education through that technology available to students in the state that never had that opportunity before. We'll be able to teach our educators on how to use the technology that's now going to be delivered to them uh, from Frontier Communications to better educate our students. And, and being a parent, uh, there's nothing that I'm more proud to be a part of than that. And I think we're going to transform the state. We at Frontier have said many times that within three years we're going to move the state of West Virginia from one of the worst states in broadband connectivity to one of the top. And I think through this partnership with Marshall and the June Harlow Center, we'll be able to make the same impact on education. And I think this will be a, very, a day we'll look back on and be very proud of uh, as, a, as a start of a partnership that's very great. So on behalf of the 2,400 plus West Virginians that work at Frontier Communications, I'm very proud to be able to be here today and present you with this gift. So thank you very much.